I work at New Home, uh, we're a day service for adults with learning disabilities and I work with a group of about five adults. Um, most of what they need from us, most of the support that we have to offer is about improving their own independence so that they're relying less on services like ours and more on you know, getting out and about and accessing their own communities by themselves. We acquired a license to use a bit of technology that has a QR code and you scan the code and it, it links to an instructional video talking about how to do basic tasks. I looked at this technology, I thought it was great, I thought it was really cool, um, but it wasn't quite person-centered enough. I thought the people that I'm supporting, adults with learning disabilities, um, it's all well and good seeing a video on how to use a microwave, for example, but if their microwave at home is different, then you need to have something tailored specifically to their needs. And so I thought, let's take the idea and tailor it specifically to the, the needs of the guys that I'm supporting. We've got ourselves a tablet computer, a little, a little tablet, um, we've recorded ourselves a video of how to do um, basic tasks. So we're, we've done a video about how to go out and about into the community, what kind of things we need to remember. We filmed that starring our own service users, uh, uploaded that to a private YouTube channel. And then I just took the link for the YouTube channel, generated a QR code, and we're using the tablet to scan the code and access the video. It, it removes the need for support work. Um, gradually in a, in a friendly manner and it's, it's very accessible, it's very easy to get, get a hold of and use. So, you know, anyone can pick up a tablet and, and scan a code and we're still not 100% there yet, um, but the guys have taken to it really, really well to the point now that they are using the video not to remind them of what they need to do, but as a checklist post getting ready. So they're already anticipating what the video will be saying and responding to it. Actually, the potential for this is, is uncapped. There's, there's so much we could do. We could tailor it to any situation. I could foresee an event where we're going into somebody's home, assessing their situation, their needs, and making a video entirely based upon that. So I think it's unlimited. There's lots of advice out there, there's lots of people to help you, so I recommend talking to Millbrook in the first instance, who would supply technology to help you with enabling and uh, independence training. The Independent Living Centre is also another good organisation to talk to about technology and equipment out there available for people with disabilities.